why is the urge to constantly have sex with love and intensity with your partner at the beginning of a relationship, but it fades over time? The urge to have sex every night of your life just disappears. How many feels that with their relationships? Oh, this is what's happened. It starts really with a bang and then ends with a whimper. <laughs> All right. With a bang, literally. Oh, no. <laughs> Alright, and we've already covered that a little, haven't we, today? But, but let's go a bit, a bit deeper into the issue because it's important. When we first meet a person, remember all of our chakras open at a certain level because of the law of attraction operating. So the law of attraction operating, my injury, their injury and so forth. And so we feel this strong desire. Now remember that almost every relationship on earth begins this way. There's hardly any relationship on earth that begins in a pure way in the sense that both are just in desire, both are soulmates and they just meet and everything's happy ever after, right? No, that very rarely occurs, right? So what happens is the two meet and they're meeting and being drawn together by injuries, of which some of them, of course, are sexual. But even the ones that aren't sexual, if the injuries are compatible, they will cause a flow of energy through you, which will result in sexual arousal in many cases. So this is what's happening. So right at the beginning, that's quite intense. Right? But then as time goes on, right, you start working through some of those injuries for a start because that's why you have been drawn together. And then on top of that, you start seeing the flaws in the other person. And that detunes desire, and so the desire starts waning. You see more flaws, and that detunes desire even further. Both of you are looking at each other instead of looking at yourself and dealing with your emotions generally. And so it gets to a point where, wow, well, it was great at the beginning, but now I'm just tired of this whole thing. Now, if we tune into ourselves emotionally, it will happen quite differently. What will happen if we tune into emotionally is that we'll see all of these events as our law of attraction. And what we will do is we'll start connecting at the law of attraction level to our own soul. We'll start feeling what's going through us. So recognizing, for example, oh, I was attracted to that girl because I could look after her. And the more I had to look after her, the more tired I became of looking after her, which is my law of attraction, to expose this emotion of me wanting to look after women. So I need to go into that emotionally. How does this feel, having to look after a woman and yet not seem to get much back? So this is something, one of the questions I had to ask myself. Once I go into those things emotionally and release those emotions, one of two things will happen. My partner will look at the emotions of why she wants to be looked after, or she will naturally want to leave. That's the two things that will happen. Right? And so as I grow, I may have a different partner in time. And that's something I need to come to accept. <coughs> that if a relationship wanes, that probably at the beginning what was happening was that there were emotional injuries that were part of the attraction and that those emotional injuries are waning in their power and therefore the draw of the two of us together is much less strong. Can I add to that? Um, also, I think sometimes it's when two people come together, there's a desire but it's mixed with need, which is similar to what you're saying. But sometimes then once we get all cosy and get a house and some of the needs perhaps of the woman were I want to feel loved and secure and safe and so all of those needs are being met in other areas of the relationship so the sex suddenly is not as an important um, ingredient. ingredient in the relationship. So I think the point is sex in a healthy relationship is always present. So if it's not there, then there's something else uh, going on. Mm. And sex in a normal relationship, actually in, a, in a, a relationship that continues to grow, the sex will continue to grow. It won't actually be stagnant. It will continue to intensify in its experience. So if it's not, look at the emotional barriers you yourself have to that occurring. And usually it's issues of vulnerability, openness, honesty, truthfulness, and lots of other issues like that all impact upon your sexual feelings. 